What's up guys? Uh, I'm Doug, this is Billy. We're at Kogan. We're going to show you a leg lock series we're working on from kind of like a 201 ankle grip when your opponent's sitting in like a seated guard, okay? So Billy's sitting down, right? And if he's here, I'm going to crouch down so I meet him at his level. My head comes forward. I'm going to grab the ankles and just pick him back and up, rock him right on his butt. Now, I can equally penetrate here, get my inside control and start going for like my leg locks falling back or back stepping around. What I'm gonna do this time though, is I'm gonna do a two on one grip on this ankle. I'm gonna post it right on the mat, sprawl out like this. And I'm gonna staple him down. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm forcing Billy to activate this leg, which means I know he has to come into me. He can't go this way because I'm posting the leg down. It would just be inefficient, right? If he doesn't do anything with this leg, Simple, super simple, I just go around, pass the side control, right? But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk right here, I'm gonna activate my head, and I'm not gonna really try to hit him with anything hard, I'm just gonna post it in here so that he thinks I'm trying to do something with it and he starts bringing his knee in, right? Right here, okay? Now from here, watch, I'm gonna take my near side hand, I'm gonna weave in, fingers pointed to the wall, and I'm gonna come right here to the mat, or if you can't get it, right now I'm grabbing his thigh here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my left elbow, flare his knee to his head so he can't do basically retracting his knee and fishing inside. So I'm gonna do this, so it makes it harder for him. And now I'm just gonna circle and I'm gonna turn my hand in as I grab a leg drive position right here, okay? So when he tries to start stripping back into me, go ahead, I'm catching him with my head and my shoulder, pulling his knee right here. I have a nice control of this far leg. I keep circling, my knee comes in, and I don't need to drop it all the way to the mat for this. I'm gonna pause right here. Okay, you see how this foot's posted? So instead of crowding Billy and getting this position cross face and all that, I'm just gonna attack his lower body. I'm gonna let all this stay still because he can't move as long as I have his legs posted to the mat, right? This knee can post up here, or in a second, I'll show you a variation that makes it a little bit tighter. So I'm posting, as I pull back with the knee, I activate my bottom toes to pull this leg into me. Lift him up, leg comes in, cross ashy from here. Pull, get whatever kind of submission I want with the legs, okay? So one more time. So I'm here, I pose, right? He activates, I come in, grab, shoot, leg drag. Now this time, watch. I'm gonna bring my knee in, I'm gonna get to this crouch crow position here, right? It's gonna keep everything a little bit tighter, my toes are up from the ground, and as I pull back, watch how this windshield wipers back in, but I do it a lot tighter than before when I was posting. So I'm here, right here, okay? And then what you'll notice is Billy is gonna try to immediately weave this leg in. Go ahead. This leg extends, okay? This stays tight. Grab the ankle. Right up here, up here, wherever you wanna go, okay? So I'll do a full speed, okay? So I'm here, I grab it, I post, right? He comes in, boom, here, right? For some reason he weaves in. Extend, stay tight with the knees. Grab, post. Go for your ankle lock, switch up, go for the heel hook, right? 